Subscribe to Witstube if you love tech as tech is what I review on this channel. This is a medical grade device named Check Me Doctor by Velu, which is a very versatile all-in-one vital sign monitor. This tiny device can accurately monitor your heart rate, blood oxygen, ECG, temperature, blood pressure, sleep apnea screening, steps and even blood glucose if you get the upgraded Check Me suit. Now in terms of price, this Check Me Doctor is listed on getvalue.com for $469 USD and the Check Me suit is listed for $549 USD. Check Me Suit comes with blood glucose meter, test strips, lensing device, also known as blood sampling device, and hence there is an $80 difference. You can also get the Check Me Light for only $135 US dollar, as it does not have the ECG halter, blood pressure, and temperature sensor. You can get the Check Me Light Plus for $155 US dollar, which has an infant external SpO2 sensor. There is an option to get the CheckMe Code Standard and Plus model which does not have ECG blood pressure but has temperature sensor. So I really hope this image gives you an idea of which features to expect with each of these CheckMe models and their price. You can come back to this image or pause the video if you want more time to digest. However, you can get 10% off on all these devices or your entire order of any products from getvalue.com if you were to use the coupon code VIDSTUBE or simply purchase from the links in the video description as the links already have the coupon code applied. So make sure to take the advantage of the special discount for VIDSTUBE follower and share this video to your family and friends who might benefit from these devices as well as 10% off discount code. Now it came in a box like this one. Inside the box you'll find the Check Me Doctor, Warranty Card, Quick Reference Guide, QR Codes for PC and Mobile App, a User Manual, a Mini Monitor Adapter where you can attach both ECG Cable and the SpO2 Finger Probe to measure both the parameters simultaneously, a Protective Case, a micro D charging cable. This cable will work for all the devices like the Pulsebit EX ECG monitor, a lanyard, USB drive for PC or Mac applications, wristband that you can slide through the case to wear the device on your wrist for easy nighttime finger oximetry. A waist belt where you can place the device in the belt and attach the ECG lid for continuous monitoring. 10-piece adhesive ECG electrodes. With Check Me Doctor, you will also get another box that contains the blood pressure accessories, like a user manual, a micro USB charging cable, a non-invasive wireless blood pressure monitoring cuff, which honestly is of a superior quality. A carrying bag for the blood pressure monitoring devices. So all these goodies are already a lot to be included with the price, but hey, if you were to get the Check Me suit, you will also get the blood glucose meter, test strips, lensing device, sterile lancet, and a user menu in a separate box on top of all this. Now, let me briefly talk about design and navigation. The design of the Pulsebit EX ECG monitor, for which I have done a full video linked at the end, be sure to check it out, is identical to the Check Me devices. They all use the same casing with the same micro D charging port. What is different though is few sensors like the temperature sensor. The flip up SpO2 sensor which in my opinion comes very handy. Both these devices have the same ECG electrodes for thumb and the index finger as well as the palm. Same power on and off key but the Pulsebit EX ECG monitor has a tactile up and down button key and slightly smaller display. Speaking of display, the Pulsebit EX ECG monitor has a touchscreen color display versus the Check Me Doctor has an e-paper ink slightly bigger display which is great for battery life but I really wish if it were to have a backlight option or option for nighttime visibility as without it you can't even see anything in the dark. Apart from that, the display of the Check Me Doctor is also a touch display. Now in terms of navigation, the menu layout is pretty user friendly. The first page includes all these options. You can swipe right to access the second page that includes all these options. Now let's go under settings. 
where you'll find reminders, volume control, voice guide, user management, blood pressure calibration, date and time, language, temperature unit, software update, ECG length, ECG bandwidth, alter lead, quick ECG configuration, erase all data, factory set and about. Now the screen will display time, date and day as well as the battery level on the standby mode. Now in terms of battery life, the blood pressure monitor is rated for 1000 readings per full charge, which is amazing. And the Check Me Doctor has a lithium ion rechargeable battery and I have been using this Pulsebit EX ECG monitor for over 6 months and I only had to charge it once. So I assume this Check Me Doctor will also be great at battery performance. Now with all that said, let's start testing out all these sensors, starting with temperature sensor. For taking a temperature reading, you have to make sure that the sensor lens is clean and place the sensor on your forehead less than 0.5 inch close to your skin on the forehead and press the button. Now, from my testing against this infrared body temperature, from all the readings that I took for myself and other of my family members, I found that the readings from this Check Me Doctor is always a bit on the lower end. But for the most part, it's fairly close. The only catch with the temperature sensor is it works great over forehead for any other body part, especially covered with hair like forearm, it sometimes does not even work. Now moving on, let's test out the SpO2 sensor. There are two ways to take a reading. The quick and the easiest way is by the external SpO2 sensor. Let's compare it against the Apple Watch Series 7 SpO2 readings. And you can see it's pretty close. Another way to measure the SpO2 is by the finger sensor connected via the micro D cable and boy it's very accurate. I have tested it against the finger oximeter and from all my tests it's identical even the heart rate measurement is right on the dot not just with me but even with my other family members. So overall the SpO2 sensor via the finger probe is very reliable. Now I can't check the blood glucose as I have the Check Me Doctor but if you have the Check Me suit you can even record your blood sugar. How cool is that? Now let's test out the blood pressure monitor. Taking a blood pressure reading is all wireless. This is ingenious. And as I said earlier, the quality of the arm cuff is really great. It's even better than most of the blood pressure monitors that I have used during my practice as a licensed physiotherapist. You have to place the arm cuff around your upper arm above the elbow joint. Make sure that you are well rested and in a seated position with your arm resting over the table. Avoid any movement and be sure to take the reading consistently at the same time of the day. Avoid food, caffeine, tobacco or alcohol for 30 minutes before taking a reading. Make sure that your bladder is empty and make sure that the cuff is on the skin and not on any clothing. There is a clear indicator of which side faces down. Once you have applied it on your arm, just turn on the device with the power key. On the Check Me Doctor device, click on the blood pressure and the Check Me Doctor will find the wireless blood pressure monitor instantly. Now the Check Me Doctor shows the cuff pressure but you have to pump up the air in the arm cuff manually by squeezing the inflation pump. But it's super easy to take a reading even for a non-medical background person as the Check Me Doctor will tell you when to stop inflating. Once you stop inflating, the device will itself let go the pressure and take a reading of the systolic and diastolic pressure and at the very end it will prompt you to release the residual air by pressing the release valve which will completely empty the arm cuff. And there you go, that is how you take a blood pressure reading, pretty easy. Now I have compared the reading of this Check Me Doctor blood pressure against other blood pressure monitoring devices like the K-Zone blood pressure monitor and it's about the same. Being a licensed healthcare professional myself, I personally have used the Sphygmo manometer with a stethoscope to detect the cork of sound by manually auscultating the brachial artery which to me is more subjective to the tester. So from my personal readings and my wife who is a nurse and is also trained to auscultate the cork of sound also found that the readings of this device are pretty much close to our findings. Alright now let's test ECG. 
There are a few ways to measure ECG reading from this Check Me Doctor. The easiest way is the lead one where you have to place your thumb on the front electrode, index finger on the back electrode and place your palm on the side electrode after which just relax, don't move and within few seconds your ECG graph will be recorded. It also shows the heart rate, QT interval, QRS and corrected QT intervals which would be very resourceful for your doctor. This device can detect few ECG abnormalities and when you click on the information button, you'll get an average adult normal ranges for reference. Now another way to measure ECG recording will be the lead 2 where you pinch the front and the back electrode as done before but the side electrode touches your abdomen as shown in this picture. Now if you want to use the provided electrodes you can use the lead 1 where you place the adhesive electrode respectively on each side. The cable is distinctively marked so be sure to attach the right side cable on the right forearm as shown in the picture and left side cable on the left forearm or else the graph will be inverted. Plug the cable in the Check Me Doctor and select the lead one and the device will automatically start recording and in about few seconds all the above mentioned details will be recorded. Now I personally like this way as I find that the ECG readings are noise free even if the person were to move a little bit as the electrodes are in place. Now the last way to measure the ECG would be the lead 2 where you place the right cable on the right shoulder under the collarbone as shown in this picture and the left cable electrode on the left side of your abdomen. Now I don't like to use this on a guy with manly hairs like me as you either have to shave off your hairs or select another method. Now from my testing against this Pulsebit EX ECG recorder the readings are identical. I have even tested the ECG reading from this Check Me Doctor against the Apple Watch Series 7 and the readings are just about the same. But where this Check Me Doctor stands out from smartwatches and other ECG monitoring devices is that it has an option of 24 hour ECG halter option where you can attach the electrode and the device will keep recording the ECG data for a whole day. You can also get the option of a mini monitor where you have to attach the SPO2 and the ECG splitter cable with the appropriately attached cable electrode and the finger probe and you can check the real time ECG SPO2 heart rate and perfusion index which is PI in real time. So the ECG monitoring on this Check Me Doctor is very versatile but for just ECG I would recommend you to check out the AI ECG recorder by value for which I have done a detailed video linked up in the card section and at the end of this video as this AI ECG recorder has something that no other ECG recorder can do so definitely check out that video after this. Now we are not done here yet. This Check Me Doctor can also be your pedometer where you can select the pedometer, select your created profile and place the device in your pocket. Hit the play button and it will start recording your calories, tap, time and speed. And you can hit the end workout button to stop the recording. Now from my testing of this pedometer against smartwatches, even Apple Watch Series 7, I find that the steps are very accurate but I can't rely on the calorie burnt data as it's always about 20 to 40 calories off than my Apple Watch. But overall it's a great option to have. This Check Me Doctor also has sleep monitoring where you can place the Check Me Doctor inside the case, attach it on the wristband and place it on your wrist and attach the finger probe and the device will continuously measure your heart rate as well as the SpO2 to give you a detailed analysis of your sleep. But for me personally, I would not use it as I find wearing the Check Me Doctor on your wrist with the finger probe is very cumbersome and with movement it may come off. So I personally will use the O2 ring or the finger Oxylink oxygen monitor as both these devices are great and I have done separate videos for each of these devices linked up in the card section. You can check it out once you're done watching this one and I personally like the oxygen ring or O2 ring which is very lightweight, easy to wear and it's stays in place even if you are moving around on the bed and records precisely throughout the whole night. There is also an option of daily checkup where you can select the profile and place the device in a way for ECG as shown earlier with your index finger resting on the built in SpO2 sensor and try not to move the device will measure your ECG, heart rate, SpO2 and PI simultaneously. You can also get a blood pressure reading from the arm cuff as shown earlier during this video. 
but I find this way very easy to use and reliable as you can quickly get all the vital signs taken without the hassle of setting up all the electrodes and all that stuff. Finally, you can connect this device to your smartphone by downloading the My Beats Hub app that is available for free both on Apple App Store and Android Play Store. Once you open the mobile app and click on the connect to mobile icon on the Check Me Doctor, you'll find the ID number of the device instantly and once you click it, you will get the option to download all the recorded readings. Now you can access the menu from the left side menu bar to access all the taken recordings. Under settings, you can also sync your user profile to the Apple Health, which is really cool. And you can access all the data of all the created users from the Check Me Doctor. So the free mobile app, in my opinion, is very user friendly and versatile. I personally don't even feel the need of using the PC or Mac Check Me Browser Pro app, which is also available for free from their website, or they have even provided a USB drive including all the files needed to get the application for free. The application is pretty much like using the mobile app but on a PC. However, you have to connect the Check Me Doctor device to the PC via a micro D charging cable. Select the option to connect to a PC from the device. On the PC, you will see the connected device and download option to download all the readings. From the left side panel, you can access all the data for each of the user and there are multiple export options as well. So overall, the PC and the mobile apps are very easy to use and provides all the options that you need. I personally would prefer to use the mobile app because it's wireless. With all that said, here are my final thoughts. This Check Me Doctor and Check Me Suit are the pinnacle of personal and professional vital sign monitoring. The price is not that expensive if you were to compare uh, the cost of visiting a professional for all these measurements. Now, I'm not saying that this is the most accurate way as it does not have a 12 lead ECG to give a detailed insight to your heart's electrical activity. The built-in temperature monitor is better to have but it's not a medical grade thermometer. But this device does exceptionally well at measuring the blood oxygen via the finger probe, blood pressure via the provided wireless blood pressure, pneumatic arm cuff, pedometer for steps is also accurate. The 2 lead ECG with the electrode is also very resourceful, especially for a 24 hour halter option and the thermometer is good to have for a basic temperature check. I can see this being very handy to use in a professional medical clinic as the data is securely stored on the device versus cloud. The practitioner has option to create multiple users and export their data securely to a smartphone or a PC and save it for further records. So for just $469, this device in my opinion is totally worth it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions and give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far in the video and also subscribe so you don't miss out any upcoming detailed tech related videos. Check out this entire playlist of other medical grade vital sign monitoring devices that I have reviewed on this channel and you will find them enticing.